Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dean Callan Show. Today, we're reviving Talking Tools Tuesday because we ran out of other shit to talk about. Oh, yeah. So today, we're going to be talking about a ref refractometer. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually pronounced refractometer or if you're supposed to say refractometer or something that makes it sound a bit more superhero. It's a pretty boring tool um, otherwise, so refractometer might be the best way to say it. Um, now, this is real simple. I've used the word bricks recently on the show. What is two to one? It's like 65, 60 bricks? And uh, for that reason, I kind of want to cover what bricks are. So bricks, as far as I understand, are an indication of how much sugar is dissolved into the liquid you're looking at. And this re refractometer, or refractometer, or whatever it's meant to be pronounced says, is a really simple tool for finding out just what you know level of bricks you've got. Now, all you need to do, you can see this little guy here. You're dropping a drop of your sugar syrup or whatever it is that you need to test onto here. And then on this side, it's got kind of like a serrated uh, face. You're dropping that on there and you'll see that piece of syrup split. And then you look through here into light and you should see nice and clearly the word bricks on the left hand side and 20 degrees centigrade on the right hand side. The reason for the 20 degrees centigrade is if your sugar syrup is boiling hot, then it's giving an inaccurate reading. So you want it to be about 20 degrees. Look through here, move this little piece until it, it's all in focus and then you can test. Now, I'm going to do it for you, show you just how simple it is. We're going to find out how many bricks our sugar syrup is. I'm hoping it's 60. All right, so now we've got one little drop on there. You can see me just lower that down, flattens out. And then looking through here, and it's 65 bricks. So as far as I understand, that is two to one. Two parts sugar to one part water. Um, but yeah, 65 bricks, it's that easy. Make sure you clean it really well and make sure that you don't have a crazy low or high temperature when you're testing it. And that's how to find out how many bricks are in your sugar syrup or how many bricks you might have in a pre-batched cocktail that you've got. It's especially handy if you know how many bricks you've got when you're going into tapping up cocktails and things like that. Cool. Talking Tools Tuesday.